Hey guys, welcome back to Digit Money Channel, and in this video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step guide on how you can efficiently trade the crypto futures market. We are going to be covering everything you need to know, and it is going to be from beginner to advanced. So after watching this video, you'll be ready to make your first trade in the futures market. I will be using the 2-bit crypto exchange. So if you don't already have your 2-bit account, make sure to use the first link down below in the description to create your account. So if that's something you're interested in, as always, hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we upload a new video. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is to log into our 2-bit account. Once we are logged in, we are going to go to this derivatives here on the top menu and click on 2-bit futures overview. Here, we have some different options. First, we have the USDT Perpetual Futures, which stands for the US Dollar Stablecoin Margin Futures. As you can tell by the name, these futures are settled in a US Dollar Stablecoin, specifically for 2-bit, and that's USDT, US Dollar Tether. Then we have Light Perpetual Futures, which is specifically designed for the beginner and the novice traders. It is the same as the USDT Perpetual Futures, we also have the demo trading part, where you will need to practice your strategy before you start trading on the live account, which we are not going to cover in this video. So let's click on the USDT Perpetual Futures, and that will take us into the trading interface. In this video, I'm not going to go in depth on what everything means here on this screen. As this is a futures trading tutorial, I will assume you've already done some trades in the spot market, and you already know the basics. If you are a complete beginner, I recommend you check back later because I'm going to create a beginner 2-bit trading tutorial and I will link it down below in the video description. In general, the futures trading interface looks very similar to the spot trading interface. We have the price chart in the center, which we can actually switch from original view to trading view or to the depth view. And that way we get some technical analysis tools here on the left side. Then we also have the order book, the most recent trades, and the window where we can place our orders. Now, before we can trade futures, we will need to transfer some funds into our futures wallet. To do that, we're going to go down to the bottom right to the asset window. Now, if you don't already have some funds on your 2-bit account, you can click on buy crypto to get some funds on your account. But in my case, I already have some funds in my fiat and spot wallet. So all I need to do is to transfer over those funds into my futures wallet. So I'm going to click on the transfer. Here, we can choose where we want to transfer from. I'm going to choose my spot wallet, and I'm going to transfer to my USDT Perpetual Futures wallet, because I want to use the US Dollar stablecoins to trade. Here, as you can see, I have some US Dollar Tether that I can transfer. So I'm going to choose USDT here, and I'm going to simply transfer over 150 USDT, which is equivalent to 150 US Dollars. And now when I switch the assets window to show USDT, you can see that I have 150 USDT that I can now use to start trading with. Now, it is the time to choose the futures contract that we want to trade. Over here, we can find all the available futures contracts. But first, let's quickly go over what a crypto futures actually is. A futures trading is basically a contract saying that we will buy or sell a specific asset at a set price at a specific time in the future. So for example, when we are trading a Bitcoin future, we are not really buying or selling Bitcoin itself like we would do in the spot market. But we are entering a contract saying that we will buy or sell Bitcoin in the future. So for example, when we go long on a Bitcoin future, we are expecting the price of Bitcoin to go up. So let's say we go long on a futures contract for one Bitcoin at a price of $45,000 per Bitcoin. On the delivery date, which is when the future contract expires, we will have to look at the Bitcoin price to see if we actually made profit, or if we have lost money. And if at the delivery date, Bitcoin is trading at $50,000 per Bitcoin, we've made a $5,000 profit because we have locked in the price of $45,000 per Bitcoin when we entered the futures contract. And on the opposite side, if at the expiry date, Bitcoin is trading at only $40,000 per Bitcoin, we have also made $5,000. And unlike in the spot market, futures contracts also allow us to profit when assets are going down in value. So for example, if we expect a Bitcoin price to fall, 
we will go short on the futures market. So let's say the current Bitcoin price is $45,000 and we go short with one Bitcoin. That means that we agree to sell one Bitcoin at $45,000 in the future. If Bitcoin actually falls to $40,000 until the delivery date of the future, we will make a $5,000 profit. And if Bitcoin rises to a $50,000, we will lose $5,000. So with futures trading, we are basically speculating if the price of an asset will go up or down. In practice, we don't actually need to wait until the future contract expires to get out of our position. If we want to close our long position, all we need to do is open a short position for the exact same amount, and that will cancel out the long position, and then getting us out of the trade. The profit or loss is then equivalent to the difference in price between when we opened the long position and when we opened the short position, and even though we might enter a future contract about buying or selling Bitcoin or any other underlying asset. In practice, we don't actually need to buy or sell the asset itself. Instead, we can just use any available asset as collateral, also called margin, to fund our trade and pay up when we close our position. As we have already seen for USDTM futures, that margin would be the US dollar tether. So as I have the stablecoin, USDT in my futures wallet, I will be trading on the USDT futures perpetual contract. Then here I'm going to type in WLD USDT, the ticker for world coin and the US dollar tether, and we are going to select it. Now, the next thing we need to talk about is our margin ratio, which we can see down here. But before we talk about the margin ratio, let's look at what the word margin actually means. So margin is the amount of money we must have in our futures wallet to protect both the traders and the Tubit exchange from possible losses on trades. So the margin acts as collateral on our future positions. Now the margin ratio is our indicator to see how close we are to get our future position liquidated. If the margin ratio hits 100%, liquidation will be triggered. Liquidation basically means that our margin balance is too low to fund our positions, so the system will automatically close them and we will lose our entire margin balance in the process. So for example, if we go long on Bitcoin, but the price of Bitcoin keeps declining, then the required margin to keep our position open might become higher than our available margin balance, which at that point, the margin ratio will hit 100% and all of our positions are closed to make sure we can cover our losses with the margin balance we still have. The goal is definitely to avoid liquidation and to make sure our margin balance is always high enough to fund our positions. And by the way, the PNL. The profit and loss of our open positions will also be considered as part of our margin balance, which means that if we would hit 100% margin ratio and liquidation would be triggered, all of our open positions would get closed at the same time, and we would lose our entire margin balance. So when we go up here and click on this button, we can choose our margin mode. Currently, we are in cross margin mode, which means that our entire margin balance, which right now is 150 US dollar tether, will be used as collateral across all of our open positions. When we switch from cross margin to isolated margin mode, we will have a separate margin balance for each individual position. So with each position in isolated margin mode, we are only risking the margin that we allocated to this one position. However, in that case, it usually takes less of a price move against us to get liquidated because the allocated margin is lower than in cross margin mode, where all of the assets count as collateral. Whether we want to use cross margin mode or isolated margin mode really comes down to how we want to manage our risk. So for now, I'm going to stick with the isolated margin mode. Now let's look at leverage. Leverage trading is one of the main reasons why people want to trade futures in the first place. Using leverage simply means that we are able to exaggerate our profits, but also our losses. So we can click here to adjust the leverage of our trades. It goes from 1x all the way up to 75x, which is insanely high. So for example, let's say we choose a 10x leverage and the Bitcoin future is currently at $45,000 per Bitcoin. With a 10x leverage, we are able to buy approximately 10 times more than the amount we are supposed to pay for the transaction. So if we now want to buy a future of one Bitcoin, it will only cost us $4,500, so one tenth of the actual price. If we want to go totally crazy and choose a 50x leverage, we would only need to pay $900 for a future of one Bitcoin. If then our Bitcoin future goes up just 1%, we 
We have already doubled our $900 investment. So you can see why using a high amount of leverage can seem quite attractive. However, on the other side, if Bitcoin goes down just 0.6%, we'd get liquidated and lose our entire $900 investment. So at that point, even if the future goes back up, we are already liquidated, which means we can't make any profits, even when the price increases again. So as you can see, using high leverage can make us a lot of profit fast, but will also wipe us out clean very, very quickly, especially in a highly volatile crypto market. When we click on this icon here, it will open up the 2-bit futures calculator. I like to use this calculator before I place a new order to see the most important metrics before I actually place the order with a specific amount of leverage. I definitely want to look at the liquidation price for my trade. If I would open this position and the future price reaches the liquidation price, then the position would get liquidated. Great, so now we have covered all the basics and we are ready for our first trade. So again, over here, we can choose the future contract we want to trade, and I'm going to choose the BTC USDT Perpetual Future Contract. Then over here, I'm going to stick with Isolated Margin Mode and select a 10x leverage. Down here we can see exactly how much in Bitcoin futures we can buy with our current margin balance of 150 USDT and a 10x leverage. We can also switch from BTC to USDT here to see how much that is in US dollars. As you can see, it's almost 10 times our 150 USDT, so almost 1500 USDT that we can now invest in this Bitcoin future. So then we are going to choose our order type. For this example, I'm going to use a market order, which means that our order will be fulfilled immediately at the currently best available price. Then I'm going to make sure this is set to USDT so I can enter the exact dollar amount that I'd like to invest in this Bitcoin future. Or we can also just use the slider here to select a percentage of our margin balance to invest. So I'm going to invest $700, which is around 50% of my margin balance with a 10x leverage. And then let's say I believe the Bitcoin price will decrease. So I'm going to click on sell or short. Because this was a market order, it was filled immediately. And we can now see it in our open positions down here. This position has a red bar, which means that it is a short position. Here we also have the applied leverage, which we can adjust at any time by coming back up here and changing the leverage. Then we have the current value of our position and our entry price. We also see the so-called mark price, which is a reference price that Tubit uses for liquidations. We are not going to go further into how exactly the mark price is calculated, because to be honest, I don't understand it either, but I will leave a link to an explanation down below in the description. Next to the mark price, we can see the liquidation price for our position. This is a very important number you always want to keep an eye on, because when the mark price reaches the liquidation price of our position, liquidation will be triggered, and we will lose our entire margin balance. Then we have the margin ratio, that we have already talked about, and that we can also see right here. Then under margin, we can see exactly how much of our margin balance is allocated to this position. As we have said, a 10x leverage, the allocated margin is a tenth of the position size, which we can see here. And then we also have the profit and loss and the return on equity for this position, which by default is calculated using the last price, which is the price that this future has been traded at most recently. If we want to get out of a trade and close our position, there are a few ways how we can do that. The quickest way is to simply click on market, which will close our position immediately at the best available price. Or we can click on limit and set our target price here and that will put a limit buy order in the system. Once the future price hits our limit price, our position will be closed immediately. In order to manage our risk, we can also set a take profit and or stop loss for each position. All we have to do is click on this add icon here and then here we can set our take profit price, which means that when this price is reached, the position will be automatically closed and we will lock in profit. Here, we can see the approximate profit we can expect with our target price. For the stop loss, we can do the same thing. Just set a target price where we want our position to be closed at to limit our losses. When we click on confirm, we can now see both the take profit and stop loss order in the open orders tab. We can also set our take profit and our stop loss before we open a position. We would just have to tick the TP and SL function, which stands for take profit and stop loss. 
and then we just enter our take profit and stop loss before we go long or short on this future. Until now, we've only been using market orders, but of course we can also do limit orders as well. We can just switch from market to limit and then set our entry price here. We will put in the order by going long or short, and it will be visible right here in the open orders tab. And it will stay here until the futures price reaches our entry price that we have just set, which is when it will automatically open our position at that specific price. There's also something called the trigger order that let the traders to specify a trigger price to activate the order, and the system will place an order with the price and quantity you set when the stop price is reached. Now, Tubit Exchange is a great crypto exchange for anybody that wants to start trading cryptocurrency both in the derivative and spot market and even copy trading. And if you check out Tubit Exchange on CoinMarketCap, you can see that it has over 700 million trading volume on the spot market and over $50 million in asset, and they also have proof of reserve. Now, if you register with my link in the description down below, you are gonna get over $9,000 sign up bonus. Now, if this video was helpful to you, please make sure to hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we upload a new video. And make sure to use the link down below in the video description to get a $9,000 sign up bonus when creating your Tubit account.